Hi everyone, today's lesson is 7-10 and it is all about multi-step fraction number stories and how to solve them. So we're going to get started with our mental math today. Remember, these problems are going to start off on the easier side and they're going to get more challenging as we go. So I'm going to show you guys some mixed number addition problems and you're going to solve them either on a white piece of paper or in a notebook. Okay, so the first problem is two, let me change, change my pen size, is two and one third plus two and one third. Now you can add the fractions first, because remember I like to do that in case you have a whole, and I know that one third plus one third is two thirds. And now add the whole numbers. 2 plus 2 is 4. Okay, next one. 2 and 1 fifth plus 3 and 2 fifths. So remember, we're going to do our fractions first. 1 fifth plus 2 fifths is 3 fifths. And then 2 plus 3 is 5. 5 and 3 fifths. 3 and 1 sixth plus 3 and four sixths. So same way we're gonna do our fractions first. One sixth plus four sixths is five sixths. Three plus three is six. Great, so that was set number one. Three and one half plus two and one I'm gonna do my fractions first. One half plus one half, I know, equals a whole. See, this is why you do the fractions first. So I know that that equals a whole. And three plus two is five, so now I have to add these together, and my answer is six. One and four eighths plus five Oh, I'm sorry, one and five eighths. Well, I know that four plus five is nine, so you get nine eighths, which I know I can take out one whole. One whole, and I'm left with one eighth. And one plus one is two. So you have to add these together, and you get three and one eighth. Okay, four and three fourths. So these are just a little challenging because you have to take out a whole, you have to change the improper fraction into a mixed number. And then one and two fourths. Well, I know that three fourths plus two fourths is five fourths, and then one plus four is five. So five and five fourths, which we now can change to six and one. Okay, last set of problems. Four and seven tenths plus three and eight tenths. Well, seven tenths plus eight tenths is 15 tenths, which I already know I have to change. And four plus three is seven. So I'm gonna change this 15 tenths to one and five tenths. So now my fraction becomes eight and five tenths or eight and one half because five tenths is a half. Five and nine twelfths plus six and five twelfths. And you would get, oops, sorry. 9 plus 5 is 14 twelfths, and 5 plus 6 is 11. So now I know I have to change this mixed number with an improper fraction into a true mixed number. So I could take out a whole from 14 twelfths and add it to 11, so I would get 12, and I'm left with 2 twelfths. 
Okay, last one. Four and seven tenths plus three and four the hundredths. So now here's a two-step addition problem. The first thing we have to do is make these denominators the same. Remember, you can't add fractions unless their denominators are the same. So I'm going to rewrite this problem, and I'm going to change the hundredths to tenths. And remember, you do that just by dividing by 10. So 100 divided by 10 would be 10. 40 divided by 10 would be 4. So now I'm going to rewrite this problem. 4 and 7 tenths plus 3, and now this is 4 tenths. And now I can add. 7 is plus 4 is 11 tenths. And 4 plus 3 is 7. So now I have to change this, and you would get 8 and 1 